Hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to another week of Trending Spot here at El Dorado Royal. My name is Mara Thompson and I have a lot of trendy news for you. So let's get right into it. The renowned artist Stephen Wiltshire, who suffers from Savant Syndrome, which enables him with photographic memory, just took a mental snapshot of Mexico City. Stephen is much like Dustin Hoffman's character in the movie Rain Man, but instead of remembering numbers, he memorizes images. This has become his special talent, which he uses to draw cities all over the world like his native London, where he now has an art gallery in one of the nicest hip neighborhoods. He's had such international recognition for his talent that in 2006, Charles, Prince of Wales, made him a member of the Order of the British Empire for services to art. New York, Madrid, Rome, Sydney, Tokyo, Paris, Moscow, Jerusalem, Dubai, Istanbul, and now Mexico City are among his most important works. This past October 22nd, Wilshire overflew Mexico City on a helicopter, from where he memorized each and every architectonic detail of the metropolis, which he then captured in a 4x1 canvas in Torre Vancomer, that will be displayed in the lobby of this modern skyscraper. Speaking of art, as is tradition now, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York will host the annual dinner and concert, which attract the best dressed celebrities in the world, the Met Gala. Each year's event celebrates the theme of that year's Costume Institute exhibition, which sets the tone for the formal dress of the night, since guests are expected to match their fashion to the exhibit. This year's theme was Manus Ex Machina, Fashion in an Age of Technology. And now, the Met has announced that the new theme for its 2017 Costume Institute exhibition and gala will be Reika Wakubo Comme des Garçons. This will be the first monograph show at the museum to focus on a living designer since its Yves Saint Laurent exhibit in 1983. Andrew Bolton, the Costume Institute's curator in charge, said that Ray Kawakubo is one of the most important and influential designers of the past 40 years. By inviting us to rethink fashion as a site of constant creation, recreation and hybridity, she has defined the aesthetics of our time. This year's party will be co-chaired by Katy Perry, selected for her daring outfits in the red carpet, Pharrell Williams, who collaborated with Comme des Garçons in the creation of a fragrance back in 2014, and Anna Winter, editor-in-chief of Vogue. Kawakubo will be serving as honorary chair, and the exhibit will be sponsored by Apple, Condé Nast, Farfetch, H&M, and Maison Valentino. Nestled in the Carpathian Mountains, high in the heart of Transylvania, lays the home of the most chilling tale of the 19th century. Are you brave enough to test the myth? With this invitation, Airbnb launched a contest fit only for the brave and the lovers of terror. This year, two people will be able to spend the night of October 31st at the Brand Castle, the ominous site that inspired the novel of the grim Count Dracula, who sucked blood from his victims and turned them into creatures of the dark. Winners will be transported through Transylvania in a horse-drawn carriage in the manner and fashion of Bram Stoker's mythical novel. At the Count's castle, they will be able to explore the labyrinth of lamp-lit corridors, creepy nooks, squeaky staircases, and enjoy an intimate candlelit dinner prepared exactly like Jonathan Hawker's meal in Dracula. Here's the best part. The guests will be sleeping in luxurious velvet-trimmed coffins in the seclusion of the Count's crypt. And guess what? Dacre Stoker, Bram Stoker's great-great-nephew, is the host. Just like any other lodging in Airbnb, the Bram Castle has its own site with the host profile and information. So now you know. Enter freely, go safely, and leave some of the happiness you bring. As part of the Mexico-Germany dual year activities, the Voce Teotihuacano, or Teotihuacan Volkswagen Bug, will momentarily say goodbye to Mexico and hello to Wolfsburg, Germany, where it will be displayed until November 20th. Just as its name suggests, the 1994 German Volkswagen, produced in Puebla, Mexico, was decorated with artistic motives of the ancient Teotihuacan culture, resulting in this beautiful masterpiece which fuses both past and present of these two iconic cultures. This labor-intensive process was made in the San Martín de las Pirámides Arts and Crafts Workshop in the state of Mexico, where the legendary Teotihuacan, City of Gods, is located. 
five people under the lead of Héctor Garnelo Navarro worked for more than two years to complete the job of mounting 19,800 semi-precious stones of eight different types onto the structure of this car. The intricate design represents Quetzalcoatl, the ancient god of wind and wisdom and creator of men, a Teotihuacan mask, the sun and moon pyramids, a jaguar, an eagle, nopal cactus, and prickly pears. Since 2015, the Teotihuacan bug has been an ambassador of Mexico's pre-Hispanic culture, and part of the proceeds of its exhibition is destined for children in need of cancer treatment. This piece is part of the Voces de Obsidiana project, which is a five-vehicle collection, each one decorated with designs of the Mayans, the Olmecs, the Toltecs, the Aztecs, and of Teotihuacan. The day Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt announced they were splitting wasn't exactly the end of Brangelina, but more like the beginning of a hard stage of procedures in which the actors are forced to fight not only over their assets, but also over the custody of their six kids. Everything seems to indicate that the former couple is trying to do this as swiftly as possible. Brad yielded to Angelina's conditions, agreeing that she be the only guardian of the offspring in an attempt of avoiding a war that could cause great psychological harm to their children, said sources close to the actors. According to the latest reports, Angelina and the children were recently questioned by the FBI regarding Brad Pitt's alleged child abuse. In case sufficient evidence is found, a formal investigation would ensue with legal consequences for the actor. Pokemon Go, the augmented reality app, has done what almost every fitness app has barely even dreamed of, getting its users to get up from their couches. Oh, Pikachu! A new study by Microsoft Research found that regular users of Pokemon Go walked 26% more than what they walked before the application was launched. The biggest behavioral change was seen amongst the more sedentary users. Microsoft researchers see great potential in this kind of games that aid in the improvement of public health, given the potential they represent for otherwise physically inactive users. The study was published online this month by the Library of Cornell University. Though it was pretty easy to infer that the app increased the activity of its users, this study provides hard evidence of that. Their sex, age, weight, or lifestyle didn't matter to Pokemon Go users when they started moving giving an average of 194 steps more than what they used to before the app was launched, which is equivalent to walking approximately 160 meters. Researchers estimate that Pokemon Go has added about 144 billion steps to the physical activity in the US. This many steps would be enough to cover the distance for 143 round trips to the moon. Given that constant physical activity reduces the risk of death, the investigators estimate that Pokemon Go could add a group total of 2.83 million years to the life expectancy of about 25 million users in the United States alone. So go get your sportswear and go catch them all. This was all for today. I'm your host, Mara Thompson. Thanks so much for watching Trending Spot here at El Dorado Royal. Share your comments below and make sure to follow us on our social networks at Next News Network and our website, mexiconewsnetwork.com. Have an excellent day and see you next time.